I'm Kristen Davis, and in 2011, I went to visit the Dadaab refugee camp, and I was going to tell you a story about someone I met there. We had been on a trip with Oxfam down to Tanzania, and it was the summer of 2011, and we were getting a lot of uh, texts and emails saying that there was a situation in northern Kenya where a lot of refugees were coming over the borders more than they expected, more than they had previously seen coming over the borders from Somalia and from Ethiopia into the Dadaab refugee camp. And because we were pretty close by uh, with Oxfam, we thought that we should go up and investigate what was happening. So we went up to the camp, and Dadaab is a huge refugee camp, unlike anything I've ever seen. And um, a number of people said, oh, you know, you need to come and speak to Haiwa. And Haiwa was there, and she was on the ground because she'd had polio and she couldn't walk. And she and her family, because there was absolutely no food and they had no choice whatsoever, had come from Somalia over to Kenya and they had put her in a wagon. So she started the journey with five children and her husband in this wagon with some other people from their village. It had been a very difficult journey. Two of her children hadn't made it and her husband had been killed. So it was her and the three really small children. And she obviously was a very, very strong woman. And people around her were making a huge effort to help her and take care of her, which was really moving, of course. And um, Oxfam had many people on the ground there. And so one of the engineers, he had, had met Haiwa. So he had made a special effort to take her food and water and you know things for the children because he knew that she couldn't move around on her own you know this is a camp where you would get in line for food handouts or whatnot so JJ would check in on her every day and when they did open the camp they made sure that she got an area right close to the water and they also um, contacted Handicap International and they ended up getting her a wheelchair and then in the end I would check in you know to find out how they were doing in the end, her sister came from Somalia to take her back. So it actually has a happy ending for once. Really, in the end, a really good story of, of kind of perseverance and strength and a situation where, you know, you really can help. So to be able to be there at Dadaab and to see the UNHCR really facilitating the aid flowing to the people and facilitating all of the other organizations who were there, it really goes to show how much good can be done in an emergency situation, and kind of an emergency situation that people weren't even really aware of. So it really, it really was moving to be able to see that and to see that the aid really works. Those people would not have made it. They absolutely would not have made it if they weren't you know, at that camp and being able to get the aid from all of the organizations who were there. So I was really inspired by being there.